Today's deep dive, we're going deep on how to go from like, oh, there's an app for that, to wait, I could build that app and uh, maybe even faster than you think, right? We're talking Llama Coder, this AI thing everybody's buzzing about. You've seen the headlines, 200,000 apps built, coding's over, blah, blah, blah. But like for real, can you really go from like napkin sketch idea to a real app just by telling this AI what to do? But the really interesting thing here is that Llama Coder, it's not just some, you know, flashy tech demo. I mean, 200,000 apps, right? That's that's huge. It tells you something's going on here. Yeah. It's part of this bigger move towards uh, what we call open source AI, which is a whole other can of worms. Right, because open source, I mean, that can sound kind of techy. What's that actually mean in this this whole app building world? Okay, so basically it means the, the heart of Llama Coder, which is, by the way, called Llama Clever, right? Mm. It's not locked up in some, you know, Silicon Valley vault somewhere. It's more like, think of it like a recipe anyone can use, mess around with, share, or whatever. This open approach is like, it's changing the game, making AI tools available to everyone, not just the big guys. And that's where Together AI comes in, right? Yeah. They're the ones behind Llama Coder. They took this this powerful open AI and basically trained it to build apps, right? Exactly. They saw the potential, but they also realized that, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. So they basically optimized it, made it super fast, and focused on that one task, turning your app ideas into actual code. So we've got this AI engine all ready to build, but how does it actually work? I mean, what do you do with Llama Coder? So this is where it gets really cool. With the old way of coding, you're writing out every single instruction in this like super specific language. Mm -hmm. With Llama Coder, it's way more like having a conversation. A conversation with AI, like like texting a super smart robot. Yeah, kind of. You literally tell Llama Coder what you want the app to do. You use plain English, like you and me <laughs> talking. You tell it the features you want, what it should look like, the whole vibe. You're basically giving instructions, not writing this complex code. So if I want an app that like organizes my sock drawer and plays jazz music while it does it, I can just type that in. Well, maybe hold off on the sock sorting jazz app for now. <laughs> but you see where I'm going with this? Llama Coder is really good at taking your words, figuring out what you mean, and then translating that into, into real working code. Mm. Specifically, it spits out React code, which is super popular for building those like slick user interfaces you see everywhere. Right. Okay. So it does the whole visual part of the app, the stuff you actually like tap and click on. Mm -hmm. I got to say, it still sounds a little, you know, <laughs> too good to be true. Like seeing is believing, right? Yeah. Let's see what people are actually building with this thing. I'm curious to see the magic in action. Let's do it. One prompt that caught my eye was for, get this, an American history quiz app. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. I'm down for a history quiz. What's the twist? So instead of just like correct or wrong, the person who made it told Llama Coder to be sassy when you get an answer wrong. Yeah. Like think witty comebacks instead of just, you know, incorrect. Okay, I like that. I'm already picturing this app. Nice design, tricky questions, and some historical sass thrown in. Way more fun than my high school history class, that's for sure. See, and that's what I find so interesting. It's not just about, you know, making an app that works. It's about giving it a personality, a certain feel. Mm -hmm. And that comes across in the prompts people are using. So it's not make an app that does X. It's make an app that does X, but with, like, a side of Y personality. Pretty cool. Exactly. Okay, ready for another one? This one's for all the designers out there. This one, it's a color palette generator. Like, imagine... You plug in your favorite shade of blue, right? Yeah. And bam, the app, it just spits out like nine other colors that go perfectly with it. All those, uh, what are they called? Hex codes ready to copy and paste. Oh, wow. That'd be a lifesaver. I can't even match my socks, let alone design a whole website. <laughs> it's amazing how it can handle that kind of design stuff. Like, it's not just about the code, right? It gets the whole like look and feel of it. You got it. And get this. Some people are building some pretty advanced stuff with Llama Coder. There's this one, it's a minimalist dashboard. It pulls US population data. Wait, hold up, a data dashboard? That sounds seriously next level. Right, so this person, they wanted a simple way to see like how the population's changing, you know, over time. Yeah. So their prompt told Llama Coder to grab the data from a, what's it called, API basically, a way for systems to talk to each other and then show it all in a graph. Easy peasy. Okay, now that's just showing off. But it <laughs> right. proves this thing's not just for like making to-do list apps, right? D data, visuals. I mean, what can it do? My point exactly. And yeah. the crazy thing is it all starts with like a simple sentence. Yeah. That's what's so brilliant about what they've done. It's not just the tech. It's making it like actually usable, even if you don't know the first thing about coding. And that brings us to a really important point. 
how to like talk to this thing. Remember how we were saying it's like having a conversation with Llama Coder? Mm -hmm. Well, just like any good chat, being clear is like everything. So make me an app isn't going to cut it. you got to be way more specific. Totally. Looking at the prompts that work, there's a definite pattern. They're like, you know, short and sweet, but they lay out all the details, what it should do, how it should work. They tell Llama Coder exactly what they're going for. No room for like AI confusion. So less like writing a novel, more like, you know, a really detailed blueprint. Makes sense, right? Vague instructions, vague results. But if you give it a clear vision, boom, Llama Coder works its magic. Perfect analogy. It's like, you know, saying build me a house versus giving someone like full on architectural plans, clear instructions, good results. It's that whole you get out what you put in thing. But in this case, it's more like clarity in, brilliance out. But OK, let's be real for a sec. We've seen the cool demos, the fancy features. But what does this all mean for like the average person? Why should anyone listening to this be freaking out about Llama Coder? <laughs> I don't know, this whole thing just makes me wonder, like, what does build an app even mean anymore? With AI doing so much, it's like anyone can get in the game now, right? That's the thing, right? Before, you could have the best app idea in the world, but if you couldn't code, you were out of luck. Llama Coder changes all that. Now anyone, seriously, anyone can bring your ideas to life. It's like having a, a digital workshop right there on your computer, ready to build whatever you can imagine. Oh, I like that, a digital workshop. And it's not just about the finished product, right? It's about trying things out, experimenting, seeing what works. I can see it now. Entrepreneurs, teachers, artists, everyone using this to build cool stuff. Exactly. And think about the possibilities. Startups could go from like idea to prototype in like a week. Hmm. Teachers making custom learning apps for their students. It's like giving a voice to all these creative people who, I don't know, maybe got lost in the tech stuff before. Right. And while Llama Coder is great for beginners, it's a game changer for pros, too. Think about it. No more wasting time on the boring, repetitive coding tasks. Let Llama Coder handle that. And then the real experts, they can focus on the truly complex stuff. So it's not replacing developers, it's like making them even more powerful. Exactly. And this is still early days. Think what AI will be doing in a few years. It's mind blowing. It's exciting, but kind of scary too, right? If AI can do all this now, what's next? It's the big question, isn't it? But at the end of the day, it's all about pushing the limits, seeing what's possible, using tech to be more creative. Makes you think, are we seeing like a whole new era of tech? Is this how we're gonna be building everything from now on? That's something to chew on, right? And on that note, we'll wrap up our deep dive into Llama Coder and the wild world of AI-powered apps. Until next time, keep dreaming big, folks, because with tools like this, who knows what you'll create.